Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Wednesday, another shave. And I know I say it every week, hasn't it just come round like that? But here we are again. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you very much. I've had some new subscribers. I appreciate that. If you're watching for the first time, please consider giving me a sub. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for your continued support. We've got a good shave lined up for you today. And we've got some talk, serious talk. Serious talk from the master of waffleization, but we have right. Let's go through what we're going to be using. Let's get this in sulk the brush first. There you go. Can you see that? Black and marble, barrister and man, legendary scent, 24 millimeter black marble brush. Wonderful, very soft knot. We'll pull that into sulk in the standing John Shaves Super Soaker. There you go. And we'll put that there. Razor of choice. Now, guys, let me know if you know anything about this. I bought it for the handle. Here it is. It's a DS Cosmetic. This is exactly how it came. Uh, and I was after the handle. I didn't I wasn't particularly interested in the razor. Most handles are like £15, about $20 each to buy. Um, I know you can get the real cheap ones, but I'm, this is actually quite a heavy-duty, decent quality one. And they're a little bit more expensive. This whole razor cost me £7, about $10, off of eBay. And let's have a look. I'll show you there now. It says it's a DS-1.7 SE made in China. Can you see the writing on the bottom there? Can you see that? Hold it there. See how the light catches it. Let me know if you know anything about this razor. Um, I was going to throw the head away, but I thought we'll put a blade in it and see how we go. And the blade we're going to be using is a Supermax Diamond Edge. It's hard to say in the back. Supermax Shaving Foam. It's a Supermax Diamond Edge. Super Platinum. Not just Platinum. Super Platinum. Double wrapped. Look at this. Worthy of praise indeed, just for being double wrapped. Uh, there you go, nice, clean, good looking blade. Look at that, very nice, very shiny, very clean. No glue spots. So we'll get that on there. Get this on here, yeah, seven pounds, guys. I was after the handle. Don't know anything about, can't find anything about this. Maybe I'm not searching right. But look, no overhang, nothing, quite a low profile head. And that blade is sitting in there. Wow. <laughs> we may not get a shave today, guys. That feels very mild. Lee told me, Lee Hazley told me it was a mild one. So we'll see what we can get. Depending on how it performs today, there may be a little impromptu giveaway. Okay. Uh, we're going to splash up with this Nivea Deep Impact aftershave. And we're going to balm up, here we go, Crichton's for Men, Post Shave Balm, nourishes the skin, absolutely wonderful that. But the salt, the star of the show, here it is. Look at that, Wolfpack Ice Pack. This is an Australian company, guys. Um, I put some water on it because it was rock hard. I've had it a while, put a bit of water on it. There you go, it is... Um, Artisan shaving soap, handmade in Australia, and this is eucalyptus. And you do, you get you, but it's to me, guys, it's a, it's a dark, heavy, earthy eucalyptus scent, like the kind of scent I would imagine you would get if you stood next to a eucalyptus tree and and crushed a leaf, you know. Real earthy scent, but it smells quite nice, and that's what we're going to be using. That's it. Let's wet the face. And then we'll crack on. Woo! That water's hot. Oh, well, there you go. So, how has everybody been doing? Okay, here we go. Make a start. So, well, straight away, look, guys. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Now, like I said, this soap, it's been standing for quite a while. Um, it's an old city now, yeah. Now, the mentholictus is coming it's a very natural smelling soap guys um if you like this kind of thing i would imagine if you liked mike's natural soaps you would like this but look at this 
Let me just scoop that up. Look at that lather. Very rich, very dense, very creamy indeed. Look at this. We'll go with that. We will. We'll go with that. We'll have our shave. <laughs> and we'll have our chat. So, do you know anything about this? Wow. Mm. What am I getting now? Yes, I am. It may sound weird, this guy's book. There's almost like a nutty scent to it, but it's a thirsty sort. We'll dip the tips and see, but look at this. No mistake in the quality of this lather. Okay. Wow. I could I could spend a lot longer on this lather. And I could add a lot more water. As a matter of fact, I'm, I was gonna stop there, but it does seem. Wow. A little pasty. Look at this. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. There you go. We'll clean up and then we'll crack on with our shame. Right. Here we go. So we've got wolf pack. The menthol, it says it's mentholated, but I mean, it is virtually non-existent and it doesn't smell anything like if you're thinking menthol and eucalyptus, if you're thinking Parasso, uh, it, it, does, it doesn't to me, it doesn't smell like Parasso to me, uh, but you know, your mileage may vary. So here we go, we've got this razor, we've got that diamond blade in, let's see where we go. Wow. It's a mild one. It is very mild. You were right, Lee. But let's see if we can. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh... Yeah, we're getting a shave out of it. Okay. And now I can feel that menthol a little more. Now the salt's been on my chin. A little longer. But like I said, it, it's not even as mentholated as Parasso. It, it really isn't. Uh, this would be a good, if you had to shave every day, or you were going for a job interview and you really couldn't risk being cut. Oh, that said, now I'm gonna cut myself on. Yeah, what I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, have you ever heard of a channel, a YouTube channel called The Shaving Disciple? Uh, it's Garrett. Garrett, I don't know why for some I must know I must have met somebody in their previous life called Garrett. Uh, I keep think I keep meaning to call him Garrett, but it's not I think it's called Garrett. The shaving disciple. Good guy, good channel, check him out. Uh, and he did a video a couple of weeks ago on um afterpay. And he's saying, you know, he said, I think he said some, I'm quoting now from something I watched two weeks ago, so I may not be 100% Garrett, I apologise if in advance if I'm not. But the gist of it was, you know, don't use afterpay. If you can't afford to pay for something outright, you can't afford it. Uh, and I've got to be honest with you guys, as a general rule of thumb, I kind of agree with that. Um, and I said as much in the comments, I went, no, I, you know, I, I agree, but... I feel a bit of a hypocrite because I've used afterpay. So I sat down and thought about it. And I don't know why it came into my head today, but it did. So I thought, because we get afterpay over here. So I thought I would just clarify or let you know my stance on afterpay. Oh. That wasn't a bad little shaver, that guy, it wasn't. Uh, that's a bizarre one. It is very, very mild. 
but we may get a decent shave out of that. That's okay. Let's lather up again. Yeah, so as a general rule of thumb, really, if you if you if you can't, I think you said if you can't afford to pay for it, you can't afford it. Uh, and I kind of agreed with that, but then I, I thought about it. But I thought about it a little deeper, and I just thought, well, there's, there's a whole raft of reasons as to why I think that's actually wrong. Because there are plenty of things you can't pay for up front doesn't mean you can't afford them. Like a mortgage being one of them. Okay, well that's a big thing, John. What about car payment? They've got a new car, get car repayments. Can't pay for a new car. Who can pay for it? Even wealthy people would struggle to find the cash up front to pay for a new car. Doesn't mean they can't afford it, does it? And then something as small as the cell phone. I'm recording this on now. Well over a thousand dollars. Well over a thousand pounds. I didn't pay for it all in one go. That doesn't mean I can't afford it, does it? And I just thought, when you think about it, I think to say, and I'm not saying Garrett was saying this. I'm not saying that. I'm just, it just, um, it just put the idea in my head for something that I would talk about. I think the idea that. Uh, if you can't pay for something up front, you can't afford it. I don't think it's necessarily true um, for the reasons I've just given, you know. So what I would say to anyone that's contemplating using Afterpay, you're an adult, it's your choice. But please do not take on any debt you can't afford to pay back. Um, that's it really, that was kind of, I just, it was just on my conscience that I'd, I'd left that comment and I know full well myself, um, I've used, <laughs> I've used after pay. Wow, you can feel that menthol, it builds up. A bit like Master Soap Creations, it, it, with each subsequent lathering, it gets a little bit more uh, mentally, a bit stronger, a bit more mentholated. Yeah, so, that was uh, in an ideal world if you can't afford to pay for it all up front you can't afford it in an ideal maybe I just think for me personally that's a very black and white outlook and life is 50 shades of grey isn't it if you'll pardon the pun life is uh, yeah so that was it really We'll check out Gary's channel, he's a nice guy. Nice channel. Nice kids. The family man. So yeah, that's it really. Uh, don't know much. Had a wonderful day off work on Monday. Oh, much earned rest. <laughs> so please let me know what your shaves of the day are. Let me know if you've got any experience of this. I've got to be honest with you guys. Uh, I was expecting this to be absolutely useless. And I was prepared to say at the end of the shave, leave a comment, you can have it. But it's actually doing okay. And as you know, my beard is like iron fangs, but it's doing okay. Here we go. I'll have a mittens. Oh, what did you do that for? Clap my hands and no, the soap's gone everywhere. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, if you had a really, really important meeting, maybe consider using something else. But if you had a really important meeting, you really couldn't risk a cut to your face, like I did in my job interview two years ago, uh, I wanted a really close shave, I got an unexpected job interview 
I had about five days growth. I shaved with the R41. Sliced my lip rack, right, right, right across. It was on the top on the bottom one. Right on the, oh, it was a deep one. And it started bleeding in the interview. But do you know what, guys? I had a word with my boss. He's left now, the, the young man that interviewed me. Two of them interviewed me. The young man that interviewed me. And he, he said to me a couple of weeks ago, he went, I remember your interview. He said, you start, the cut started bleeding and everything. I said, yeah, yeah. I said, I thought that I'd have goosed it for me. I thought that I'd put the, a hex on it or whatever. And he said, no, no. He said, as a matter of fact, he says, after you left, I turned round to the other guy who was doing the interview as well. I won't say his name. He said, but I turned round to so-and-so and said, see, look how seriously he took the interview. He had a shave for it. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's it. Let's have a lean in. Oh, look at that. See, I told you that would happen, didn't I? What have I done there? I think I've topped a spot or something. There you go. That's pretty close, you know. We did okay. We did okay. Here we go. Got a bit. What have we got? Aftershave. Antibacterial. Oh, it smells really nice, guys. Really nice. Very fresh. Let's get it on there. Yeah. Just as I thought. There's not a sting. There's nothing because it did okay. And that's perfectly acceptable. I would use this for a job interview, but oh, not in an ideal world. It isn't BBS. There you go. Top off with a cry. And so, let me know what you think about the razor, about the shave, about the afterpay, about any other topics. Yeah, just rubbing this in now. Yeah. I think it'd be okay today, but I would probably have to shave again tomorrow if I left it. If I was going somewhere important. As you know, I'm not a daily shaver. My skin just cannot tolerate it. That's us, guys. Let me know what you think. Please click like and subscribe. And check over Garage Channel. He's a nice guy. Look after yourselves. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you on Saturday for the Saturday Shave. And remember... As far as it depends upon you, be peaceable with everyone. Have a great week. Look after yourselves. Bye.